so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So as you can see, things are different. We're in the home now. So this will kind of be my little makeshift area to go over things that I purchased for the home and my little um, hauls. So let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to share with you guys that I got this wreath to go in front on the front door. So we haven't put it on yet because I wanted to do that with you guys. So we'll go ahead and take it out of its box and put her on the front door. I think it's very beautiful. It's like a wood um, roses and I got this from Target and it's part of their threshold line. So I really, really love it. It's really, it's nice. I think it's gonna pop off of the gray, but it's not doing too much. It's very subtle. So that'll go on the front door and then Thanks, babe. <laughs> I got Matt behind the scenes helping me out. Um, so we went to Home Goods. Now let me tell you about Home Goods. I was one of those people that was like, oh, I don't want anything from Home Goods. Like I just wanted stuff from like Crate and Barrel, Lowe's, you know, my pottery barn, which I love all of those places. But as you know, it was $66,000 as our down payment to get into the home. So things are a little bit tight. So we decided to, um, you know, shop, but also I didn't want to shop and put things in the home that I knew I wasn't going to keep um, or things that just weren't, in value enough value for me um so i wanted to go ahead and try it out so my mother all loves home dish she was like you can find a lot of nice things there so i was a little um skeptical but your girl loved it so um this is something that my mother-in-law purchased for me so um bless this kitchen so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the kitchen it goes with my modern farmhouse theme and it has the um just i like how the tagging or the um the wood pieces on here look or the yarn should i say so it's cute and she knows i love coffee so that'll go over there in my little coffee bar so i have that and then she got me another piece as well and she got this stuff for me before we closed on the house i know one of the comments um from last week's video someone asked me if we waited to shop until after we purchased the home and for the most part a lot of the items we did so and then she got me this one as well good wine and good friends good times because i do love a nice glass of wine so that'll go in the kitchen i don't know exactly where this piece will go but we will figure it out so i also got some other things as well let me see here i love kirkland so i did get some items from kirkland so i got this cute throw blanket i did purchase this before we closed in the house um again you guys know that my theme is white gray not white and gray but white black neutral some grays because you will see that i do have some grays in the house um so very modern farmhouse i wanted to stay with that and i wanted pieces that were very cozy so here's that throw and it was only 29 bucks and i think i even got it for cheaper because it was on sale i think all the throws at the time when i purchased it were like 19.99 so that's good it's a 50 by 60 throw so that's awesome I also purchased some um, uh, kitchen towels. Two of them are already in the kitchen, but I got these from Home Goods as well for $7.99. They were a pack of three, but I really like the colors. So that was something I think I got one black one and then another one that's kind of like these same colors, but it's like in a plaid um, pattern. So I got that too. Don't worry, I am gonna put some color in the house. <laughs> um, I think the color that would be mainly down in the basement, but upstairs will stay pretty much neutral for the most part. Another cool find that we got was, what is this for? This is just a bottle brush. I think this is your mom. I don't think this is ours. So <laughs> I'm not gonna went shopping with this. So Lee, if you're missing your bottle brush, I have it. So I'll give it to you. <laughs> so that's hers. Oh, yeah. We needed some pots and pans and we were debating, like I really wanted something that was high end because you know, you cook daily. So I think that investing in pieces that you're gonna use daily is um, is, is great. Um, so we were at, um, what, Home Goods, and Matt was looking through the dishes and also the uh, pots and pans area, and he found All Clad, okay? If anyone knows, All Clad is a very expensive um, pots and pan set. They're known for their quality. They're also known for their non-stick, which we need that, the durability. And we were able to get some All Clad so that's good and this big old pan let's see it was $24.99 so you can't beat that because a set of all clad would have been like what they think like $6.99 $7.99 even more than that but I think the cheapest is like $6.99 that I can find at Crate and Barrel so we're just gonna piece it together so no one will know well you guys know now but um that you, that's another alternative that you can do is if you can find 
staple pieces, I encourage you to get them. So we were able to get this one. And then we got one more. We do like to make eggs. So this is pretty much gonna be our egg pan. So again, this is another all clad pan and this one was $16.99. So we're gonna piece it together. My mother-in-law got some really good pieces cause she got, what, um, a saute pan, a pot. And I think the pot was like a Dutch oven, not a Dutch oven, but it was like a Dutch pan. And I think it's eight quarts was her pan. So it was pretty big. Um, but I think her pan was like 60 bucks. But if you piece it together, it could either come out I wouldn't be as much as $6.99 because sometimes when you buy a set, it doesn't have all of the pots that you would need. Like a set wouldn't have this big of a, a frying pan. It might be a little bit smaller, like a 12 inch. And I think this one's like a 14 inch. Um, so sometimes it's good just to piece it together when you need those signature pieces, but also incorporate other ones as well. But we really wanted that set. So we're starting off right with that. So now that I'm showing you guys, you can finally use it because Matt's been making us use our old pants still. So Yay, I get to use them. Set those down there. And then, let's see here. I got some other pieces. So again, like I said, I love Crate and Barrel. So I went to Crate and Barrel and I got some stuff. And sometimes I just like walking in there just to see, not necessarily to purchase something all the time. <laughs> but um, I did get these glass jars. And the lady said that the glass jars, when I purchased them, again, this is another purchase before the house. Um, she said that they weren't really out yet because they were on some kind of cart and I was just walking by and I was like, oh, I love those. And it was this one and there's another one, which was larger than that one. And I grabbed them and she was like, oh, I didn't even put those out yet. And I was like, well, I want them. And so I was able to purchase them, but they're not even out yet. So she said that they come out into September, early October. So I guess I was very sorry about these little ones. So, hey. So I got these, um, I think I'm gonna put cotton balls in this one in the bathroom. And then for this one, I don't think we figured out what we're gonna do yet. But I just love how they look. They're very minimalistic. They're very nice. So I think this one was, I can't remember, $12.99, I think $16.99. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I think I have a receipt somewhere. So I'll be able to put the prices down if I can find them. So I got those. And then got some crate and barrel. You know, Crate and Barrel doesn't have their signature white bags anymore. They have these plastic ones, which I don't think they're very good for the environment. I think the paper ones are better anyway, but Crate and Barrel got them to get together and bring back your signature white bags because I love them. So they have those. And I got another coffee mug. Once I show you guys my coffee bar and beverage area, you'll be able to see like I have a lot of mugs, but some of them need to go and I need to slowly replace them. But I got this one, Morning Vibes, and it's glass and it has a little glass straw. And I thought it was so cute. So I have one of these. And I got that from Kirkland. And that was $7.99. So I don't think it was bad for like a glass cup and then it keeps everything nice and looking pretty. I also got, let's see what this is. No, I'm gonna allow to purchase this for Matt for his bar area when we get the bar done for the basement. So these are just some glass shot glasses. We used to be bigger drinkers, but you know, sometimes when the day's gotten too long, we might need to indulge a little bit. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, and then I also purchased a little gift for myself. Ooh, again, some crate and barrel. Heavy. Uh, this. So I always wanted a chopping block that I could just put on my kitchen counter. And I think that this is perfect. It's really those neutral um, warm gold, excuse me, neutral warm wood colors. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna put this on the the island and just leave it there. And the lady at Crate and Barrel was trying to like talk me into actually using it. And I was like, yeah, no, this is gonna be for decoration. And I think I'm gonna put some like candles and set up an arrangement on top of it. but. That was $75, I think it was pretty good because she says that it's usually more, but it was on sale for 75 bucks. So that was good. So, so far, those are the items that I have, but I wanted to show you guys what we've done so far upstairs. So let's go upstairs. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different, do maybe like a, a vlog style at the end so I can show you guys to get real intimate. So this is the item that we just purchased and Matt, this is actually his baby because he pointed it out at Home Goods. So this, um, console here was $2.99, but it looks so much more expensive than $2.99. And then this here, this piece, I got from Pier 1 Imports before the store actually closed. So 
Um, I got these three candle holders and I like the wicker on the bottom because again, it has those wood tone colors. And then I got this little thing here that was all from Pier 1 as well before the store closed. I got that candle from Walmart, but I got it because it kind of matches the color tones in the candle and then also the wood top. Now this, I got this lamp from Crate and Barrel, uh, excuse me, from Kirkland's. And I love it. It looks like a Crate and Barrel piece. It has the beading here in the black, which I absolutely love. And I like the, um, at first my mother-in-law was saying that maybe I should change out the shade to a white shade. But now with everything together, I think it looks perfect. So it's going to stay. Um, so that's there. Then this right here, we had in our last house. So if you guys have been watching from the beginning, that was five years ago when we had our foreclosure. And um, now we're in a beautiful home. And so I've had this piece, but I've never used it. So I'm gonna put some pictures in there from all of our travels. And I thought it looks good. I do right there, I wanna get a vase and then put some pompous grass out of it. I think that's gonna be really pretty. And then down below, I found a basket. It's like white, excuse me, it's black which will match this here. And it has like um, canvas handles and so, or wicker handles and it's like this color. So I thought that'd be pretty there. And then I'm gonna put a nice throw out of it. And then here I found a jute um, puff that I'm gonna put there and I saw that at Home Goods. So hopefully it'll be back in stock when I can go get it. So this is in our entryway here and it spans out here. So this is the main foyer. So here I purchased this rug from Ikea. It was only $20 for a little runner and then I got a little slip, um, non-slip slider underneath. So yeah, and I had to just fold it back because it was a little bit too long, but it works out. This mirror came from my other house as well. It'll be mounted there. Then I want to get like a black um, bench right here and then decorate that as well. But here we're going to do a chair rail all around here so it's gonna be really nice and then change out the light of course so there we go it's looking beautiful guys i can't wait to show you guys a little bit more but this is what we have so far all right guys well thank you so much for watching this week um i do want to give a shout out i want to start doing that again um to our subscriber mrs jojo she's so sweet and she's been here since the beginning and she always leaves a, an encouraging comment every week so i really appreciate you ladies so thank you so much um also next week's vlog um is going to be more so um we should have our laundry room completed upstairs so today me and matt are, are going to go to floor and decor and look for some tiles so we're going to do some white hexagon tile with a black route upstairs in the laundry room so that should be completed because our washing dryer comes on september 14th and we really want to get that done before the washer and dryer gets installed so we don't have to move it again so please make sure if you guys haven't seen last week's vlog um that is our empty house tour so make sure that you guys go ahead and click on that video so you guys can get caught up with everything that has been done to the house or the completion of the home um it was really touching i think i've watched it multiple times since then and i cry each time because it's just it's heartfelt um in the comments too you guys are so sweet and a lot of you guys said that you guys have cried with me so now i don't feel so bad because everyone else cried too so <laughs> Um, but again, thank you guys so much for going through this remarkable journey with us. It's very been, it's been a humbling experience the last five years. Um, like I said, that I believe that me and my husband have come out, um, come out on top and we're better people for it. But thank you guys so much. I'm really enjoying making it our own and we have a lot of things coming. But again, going forward, since our home is completely done now, we're going to just change over to more of decorate with me and showing you guys little hauls and things like that that we get um, and showing you guys how the house comes together. So I can't wait to show you guys everything next week will be the mud room and laundry room so stay tuned and thank you guys so much bye mm -hmm.